Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> Oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes I'm gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? This doesn't feel right. 
I think you're up to something. I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. The longer we're out here, the longer we're in danger. Said the murderer. You know, it might be a lot more pleasant if you lighten up a little. What is wrong with you? I've had kind of a fucked up summer. Yeah, well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I, you're still alive, I guess. Nobody else needs to get hurt. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. No offense. I'm not doing this for revenge. I need to save Max. You're doing all of this for a boy? I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do. Like I said, kind of a fucked up summer. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura! Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands! Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. These must have been from the quarry days. No, duh. no one's been down here for years.
Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Just look at this place. Do you think, actually... Something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. cave out <laughs> look who's finding their funny bone so what's your deal then what do you mean the whole mysterious brooding loner thing it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe so I don't fit into the right box is that what you're saying And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? No reason. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control.
looks promising. Think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? In here. Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> when you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. It's weird fantasy. <laughs> Whatever, I won't open up about my vibrant fantasy life anymore. Is that, that's what's going on in your vibrant fantasy life? It's not that weird. It's pretty weird. Okay, it's no weirder than this situation. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> I, I, I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby and... Fuck. Oh, let's just get the van up and running, okay? Yeah. Let's see what the damage is. Well, fix or no fix? Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. Sounds like a long shot. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Dylan? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Aw, uh, I'm starting to dislike you. Mm, like I care. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. This way. Come on.
Okay. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got a screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no, not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. Okay. Seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it. You fucking piece of shit. Get away. Get away from me. They're close. <laughs> You're better off down here. What? I'm sorry, man. No, 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 dude, come on. We'll come back for you. Shut the fuck you out, Ryan. Please, Ryan, please do. Okay? You don't know what to do to me. Come on. Come let me out. You can't let me down here. granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So, you... You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead 
of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains? You, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you were telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Her beauty is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. When I say yes, you say no. Did you miss me? Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, stricter, designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. 
Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head up! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. She did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! Everybody, stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh. Oh, wake up. Wake up, darling. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Marlon's gone. Cute. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis.
Yeah, I do. Don't make me chase you, pig boy.
around here? Dear darling. I thought you were shot. I got better. The bitch is bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Oh. Yeah. enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer.
Yo, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. Leave me alone. Ow, it really hurts. Dad! Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's and your friend's too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? and tender for you. You should start to feel better. 
Soon, I guess. Guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts, just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it.
Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local... Arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Back grabber. Now you fall in a wag with you. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing.
You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. 
and another way out. Fine. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Welcome back, my friend. I'm so glad you're back, especially now that more vermin have been stamped out. A few stragglers remain, but there's still time. So, then, what more has been found? Shall we take a look? The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance, one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. One last time, go back 
go back and end this. Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Maybe I should keep looking. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. We eat him here? He here what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer.
I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, RIP microphone. What is it? A ring, with a crest on it. Ah, oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. for something. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That mates for life, we're proud to proud say. say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers.
It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot.
since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or... Okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So... We've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I 
Digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Feast your eyes on this. Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Yes, this is actually a thing you should be afraid of, Grace. Why didn't you tell me about this? We could get in actual trouble. Yeah, but don't you understand? This means our podcast is legit. Someone has offered us a cease and desist. Also, it means something more is going on. You don't send a cease and desist letter to someone who's telling lies. It's signed by Travis Hackett. Why didn't he send it? That beats me. I mean, postage is... <sighs> price of that is rising okay, every day. Okay, it's not postage. And are we sure we should be talking about the fact that we're not supposed to be talking about this stuff on the record? Okay, here's my pitch. If anyone wants to talk to us about what we're investigating, then be my guest. As of right now, we've had no indication that what we're doing is anything other than completely legal. I mean, this is all public information except for the secret evidence that gets sent to me from an anonymous source. Right, yes, that and all the wild speculation and slander you've thrown out there. Is it slander or is it conjecture? Both. All I know is that usually cease and desists come from not wanting people to find stuff out. Well, the cease and desist is not the only thing that I'm going to throw your way today. Okay, what else do you have? As if things couldn't get any weirder. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, empty vial, arguably creepier than full vial. What was it full of before? I don't know. Blood? Part of some kind of ritual? Some sort of sick experimentation? Satanists? trying to conjure ghosts and control them okay you had it does look like there could have been blood in here i don't know that satan was involved necessarily there are many deities in which someone could reach out for nefarious purposes i am sure you would know more about that than i would i'm just saying something like this doesn't look like anything normal okay anton what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist, a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. 
don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point. I so, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <gasps> Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We ha Actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more. Ass.